welcome back. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Let's talk a little bit about Creative Fabrica Spark, artificial intelligence, and how we can potentially leverage the new suite of tools to make money with print on demand, artificial intelligence generated art, but we're also gonna be talking about CF Spark Writer. We're gonna be talking about CF Spark Patterns, which is essentially the same thing as art, but it will create repeating seamless patterns. So no matter how much you scale it up or down, it will be a seamless repeating pattern. This is something that I'm super excited about. I'm gonna go into this in just a moment. And then we have Prompt Builder, which is gonna help you create better prompts, which you can definitely use and I will go into as well. This is gonna be a feature coming soon, Image Mix, but you're gonna be able to take an existing image and then pair it with a prompt and then you'll have a completely unique image. So let's go ahead and start with Creative Fabrica Spark Patterns. So as you can see at the very top, you put in your prompt just like you would with any other AI art engine, and then you'll select the art style. So in this case, you might want um, some summer, floral, bohemian, sunflowers and maybe you want that in a watercolor style. So guys, I do wanna quickly mention that this tool is free and you can use it for commercial purposes for print on demand. So go ahead, hop on it, use it. I'm gonna include a link below. What you can do is you can actually go to the published page and then you can zoom out and see what it would look like as, you know, because it's a seamless repeating pattern, it is scalable all the way up, all the way down, and it just looks beautiful. This could go on a shower curtain, it could go on uh, wrapping paper, gift wrapping paper, it could go on greeting cards. But guys, let me let you in on a little secret. A brand new Etsy store dedicated specifically to AI generated repeatable seamless patterns. And I'm going to be using Creative Fabrica patterns as one of the main tools for this because it's designed specifically for that. And as long as I have a demographic in mind, and as long as I'm ranking for keywords that people are searching for. I'm going to be selling just the digital files that people can use for different things like wedding invitations and uh, notebook covers or whatever, you know, wall art, whatever it may be that they need a repeatable seamless pattern for. I'm going to be offering it on this Etsy store. So I'm going to keep you updated with that journey, but let's keep moving along. Let's take a look at some of these other patterns. I mean, this is beautiful. You get up close with some of these. This one was the watercolor pattern. And when you zoom out, it continues to repeat. So this would be something that you could do with print on demand wallpaper, which yes, print on demand wallpaper does exist. And there are stores doing really, really well with print and, and peel and stick wallpaper. For whatever reason, wallpaper is coming back into style. This is another example of a pattern that you could create. And in my opinion, you know, you could put this on like a suitcase or a canvas bag or a t-shirt or something and try and sell it through print on demand. But in my opinion, you're gonna make more money taking the digital file and selling it directly to other people to let them use it however they want to use it. So essentially create the designs, sell the digital file and the rights to the digital file. That kind of gives you an idea of what you can create with Creative Spark patterns. I'm sure that you can come up with some really, really good prompts, much better than I did. I only spent a couple minutes on CF Spark patterns and created some really, really beautiful designs. Now that we've covered patterns, I would like to go ahead and dive into CF Spark Writer. So I'm going to go over here, click Create Text. And so it's asking me what I would like to write. Articles, Facebook ads, article sections, cold emails, article outline. So I'm not going to dive too far into the details because there are a lot of things that you can do with this free tool. You can create almost anything. Facebook ads, cold emails, essays, articles. I mean, it really does a lot and I'm sure they're going to be expanding on this listicles, the rewriter tools. I mean, it, they have a ton of stuff. I'm on the articles writer side of things. So I'm going to say gift for soulmate. And then we're going to use AI to actually generate the article outline for ourselves here. It's not going to replace your need to create blogs for your Shopify store, or it's not going to completely replace your need to create product descriptions, but you can start with tools like this. And from there, you can edit it and use it however you'd like. And if you're looking for something specific, you can come down, for example, you want a, uh, maybe you want a starter unblocker blog. So kickstart your writing for any keyword or topic, or you want a listicle or you want, um, you know, just the conclusion for an article. You've got a lot of different options here and a lot of different possibilities with this tool. So I'm going to go back to CF Spark Art. Once again, we're going to see some of the updates that have been made with CF Spark Art because it's been a while. Let's try and use some new prompts, generate some new images, see if we can create something that people might enjoy. Let's go over to CF Spark Prompt Builder. For the art medium, let's do watercolor if there's an option. So essentially the prompt builder is going to help you select 
visually see what you're selecting whenever you're building your prompt, um, kind of how the engine sees things. In theory, this will help us create a very specific prompt that will help us kind of visualize what the engine will create before it actually creates it. So all kinds of different options here. We have geometry, different shapes. There's all kinds of different options. This can also help you put in emotions, can help you put in lighting. Finally, I'm back on Creative Fabrica Spark Art, the primary tool that you're probably interested in for print on demand e-commerce. And what I've done is I've given it a prompt, black and white, cute sloth, watercolor, centered. I've, I've kind of taken some bits and pieces from prompts that have worked for other users to see if I can come up with something that we can actually use as a design somewhere else. So as you can see, I'm getting some decent outputs. Um, you know, I think that this would need to be something that would be paired with some text potentially. Let's try the same prompt, but let's try and make the sloth running a race this time. And I wasn't a fan of the black and white style. So I'm gonna take that out. At the end of my prompt, I added nursery art, nursery decor, digital art. The idea being that potentially I could get it to give me um, something that I could use as a digital download that someone could download and print off for their nursery. If you ever need inspiration for prompts, you can come up to Spark Browse Creations and you'll see some amazing outputs that have come from other users that have published their works. So I'm going to use this prompt, I'm gonna copy. And instead of owl being the main focus, I'm going to change it to giraffe and I'm going to ask it to do it for a professional t-shirt design and see what happens. So guys, I do recommend checking out CF Spark Art and the other tools, CF Spark Write. They continually are improving their tools. Check out the repeating seamless pattern tool if you have a digital file store on Etsy or on Shopify. These tools are free when something like Midjourney is $10 or more a month. So when it comes to print on demand e-commerce, when it comes to this community, I like to communicate the tools that are free that people can actually use. So for example, this might be something that you could sell on Etsy as a digital instant download. Someone would want to print it out, frame it, and put it in their nursery or give it as a gift to someone that would put it in their nursery. And you could even create collections or bundles to sell. I think there's a lot of potential with if you have a digital file store on Etsy, there's no reason why you shouldn't be using CF Spark patterns and CF Spark art to create some files that you could sell. So this is just one way that you might be able to use CF Spark art to make money with print on demand and e-commerce. And that is all that I have for today. Hope you have an amazing day. Create something awesome. Subscribe, comment below if you have questions. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.